maps haven't exactly gone their way to open up maps so far in this series. And keep in mind, too, this is the map where we saw FaZe just a revelation against Na'Vi. They looked absolutely insane, and obviously the 1x bet odds still favoring FaZe Clan as well to kick off Dust2. Snappy taking some shots up middle as well. For how aggressive the series has been and felt at different times, and the aggression that we saw FaZe bring out against Na'Vi, this could be absolute, an absolute brawl. Sphinx might get caught, and indeed he will. Taken down immediately. Do FaZe want to press the issue? They might just pause for a second. D has got the angle. Two headshots for him. Rain and Rops go down. They hit the deck. Utility don't matter. Such a smart position to play in the pistol. Those barrels impenetrable, and he's got the headshot lineup. Twists, meanwhile. Once again, similar to many maps, they have their offsided sort of winger to hold the other side of the map. That's what Twist was doing, so he has to win out long, but they've got Madden pushing through middle. Yeah, but Ents over-rotated. Ents over-rotated so massively, it's just Hades here. Snappy can barely do anything from the ramp. He's gotta be careful out towards long as well. Twist is gonna have him pinned down. Hades, it's just a matter of time, and there he goes. It's all on this flank. It's all on Madden, but Twist is doing work. Oh my god, three kills. We didn't even see the other one. Those were on the ramp. Those were the other two players that by holding up from Catwalk had a chance to shut down the take. Twist does it all. And Brokey shuts it out with his second kill in the round. one nothing for FaZe. And listen to the roar from FaZe as well out of that extended break after map three, trying to get the energy up right out of the gate. Nothing's going to do it quite like a triple headshot from Twist. This is exactly why as well you're seeing a lot of teams, even in pistols, play this sort of off-site player, the winger, as I like to refer to it. Because as soon as that failed at B, as soon as they lost two kills, all right, Twist, go see what you can find us for information. Create some space. And it does everything for them. Yeah. And unfortunately, I think the over-rotation was just so brutal. They bit on that despite the fact that Deha got two kills Two of the three defenders at that A-bomb site remaining absolutely crossed mid and were so far away from being in any position to have an impact on the round. One to nothing for FaZe. Tiha close to double doors. Hades looking through the crack with the scout. Madden is up on catwalk. Snappy's going to get attention. Snappy is, but he's loving it. He'll take all the attention. Stare into the deagle... Blind side shot takes out Kerrigan as he came around the corner, was not ready to peek that fast. Dia has to back away. The interesting thing about that, the, the, the sort of offsite player, as I mentioned as well, is formerly you'd have teams, back to NIP, get right, push through this. Twist's ready for it. They're trying to take away what they can, try and get that gun that was knocked down early, but not going to be allowed to do so. Twist already making sure he sprays in. You used to have one player that you'd alternate. If you were going B, he would go A. If you were going A, they would go B. But by having one designated to each side, they get more familiar with the battle. They're able to read the defenders more familiar uh, each and every round. And, and I think that's actually a huge benefit. It's also a luxury that FaZe has as well, considering the players on this roster. A lot of confidence in guys like Twist and Rops to play on their own and use that aim to good effect. Snappy gets dropped, trying to make a long push happen. Madden is still kind of frozen, doesn't want to get it picked off in the same fashion. 30 seconds left on the clock, and Rops is going to knock on the door of the B-bomb site. So through the market, Skylights, they'll throw the utility. How is Sphinx not spotted? Wow, that smoke appeared thinner than I... Apparently it was on their screens. Twist does eventually locate him and take him down with the AK. D again for a double, making a triple this time. Lines them all up from the closet, and the Deagle pays off. It's 1-1. What a hot start from Deha. Two in the pistol round and a loss. This time three as he holds on to the B bomb site. A good little bait and switch. They didn't expect a second player to be there. That smoke actually helps Deha out massively. That's a long range that they're not able to get a decent angle at, and he can just pre-aim that crack. Perfect. Twist goes down, Rops goes down, and Brokey falls into a headshot. AK-47 picked up, and a roar from Entz in response, in rebuttal, as we're tied up at one. So Bomb intentionally left outside B tunnels. Bit more aggression toward Long this time with the utility that now they can have the luxury of affording on the end side. It's a luxury that FaZe doesn't have here. There's no nades. It's all five Deagle armor. So we're going to have to see some headshots. We're going to have to see some duels with these pistols, hoping for some one digs of their own. Madden sneaking through CT is going to make sure that mid door not a problem, and Dia will be able to rotate and pivot between B site and mid itself. But it's up toward Catwalk. Without utility, Hades can have a shooting gallery with the scout, and you're going to have Madden over on the ramp as well that can just kind of pick off heads. Nade damage is going to be quite nice, soften him up. Molotov is going to delay him a little bit longer. Just about to pass the one minute mark before that Molotov fades, and Madden's gonna stick around. Kerrigan's made his way out to the dumpster at long, but snappy in the corner. Hades can't back up on the car and have a cleaner shot. Have a straight line of sight because he could be spotted out. Oh, twists, there's the first one. That's what you were saying. Snappy is gonna catch off Kerrigan, so now they know they have control of that situation. But Snappy has to turn back. He's not confident that it's clear bomb plant, therefore insured, because Madden's locked down inside CT. 
So Snappy getting closer. Definitely still have the advantage with the weaponry. They definitely still have utility to play with. I'd say that. They've got one flash left over, but everyone's got a kit, and unfortunately, Brokey is the only one left alive. Yeah, not bad from FaZe whatsoever. A kill, the plant, obviously, they would have liked a little bit more, maybe one or two more kills to really limit the economy. Bummer for Hades as well. Two nades thrown out uh, towards Catwalk. None of them doing enough damage to soften him up for a one-shot scout kill, so he tags a player and then gets dropped immediately, but Entz is able to recover. Relatively easy as they held on towards long. This was the shot from Twist, the only thing that FaZe was able to get in the round outside of the plant. And from there, the rifles went to work. Good double from Madden. Two to one. FaZe gonna buy up Deagles this time without a whole lot of armor. Kerrigan pursuing. Middle gets by Dia, actually. It was the exact time that he fell off the corner, and that means they get to where Catwalk, but Rain is spotted, so whether or not Kerrigan's further or not forward, they'll be ready for someone on Cat. Madden. Not as ready as he would have liked. Yeah, <laughs> that was the one thing with it was the timing, but Madden certainly gets away with it and falls off. Yeah, a bit fortunate. A bit fortunate. Pretty quiet on the map. One flash, one smoke. Twist is going to put his smoke out now. Madden. Actually, excuse me, he drops that over to Brokey. So rain down in middle, Madden with the transition having fallen off of the catwalk position. Hades that time up on top and elevated on the car. Clean shot, follows it up on Twist, who this time will not get the deagle against him. And Hades, good to see him getting some easy and free shots early to warm up that flick, warm up that AWP, because that was the key to the map in my mind on overpass, very much so. Yeah, I, if he wasn't warmed up after that map, yeah, there'd be something wrong. But obviously the extended break maybe needs a little bit of a shooting gallery to get himself into the map, and he got one there. Good triple kill from Hades. Half blind on the first, and just lines him up and knocks him down from here. Three to one, Brokey's gonna have an op on the T side moving forward now. All AKs on his teammates to his reign, Robson Kerrigan with the powerful rifles. Hades off towards long, he had the close spawn, he's gonna hold the angle, no one pressuring, no one moving fast. Out those long doors from FaZe. Precise lineup, has to use the scope even. Why not? So the pin smoke thrown, bouncing up on top of the doorway. Covers off Cat. Boost up as well for Madden and Hades. Back towards the barrels as you can see. Deep angle towards Catwalk. Might catch Rain off guard. Flashbang would be lovely. Cross. Oh, they spotted it on the cross. Rain running by, makes the call out, and Brokey makes no mistake on the hit. Twist wins the battle at long, and now stuck on top of the site is Matt. Dia's gonna take the aggression to try and get there sooner because he knows his teammate needs help, but he's gone already. Twist with another double entry from long. What a great position to be able to put Twist into to activate him at that range. Perfect for his aim. That'll be a that'll be a tough battle for Snappy throughout this half. We'll have to keep we'll have to keep our eyes on it. Especially if he's gonna have Kerrigan there working with him. That's gonna be tough for Snappy to handle, and this just gets busted right up. Like shot on a Brokey, very unfortunate, or else that could have played out very differently. FaZe get their second round with a knockout punch. All five players surviving as well, so they get to build up some money early on in their victory, early on in this half, which is obviously a great luxury. What do you think, Matt? We're getting uh, we getting championship in this game. You think FaZe is gonna take this one? Yes, <laughs> I think I do think that, but I'm not sure. The way that this series has gone, it could have gone either way. I mean, we could have been over in three just as easily. Yeah, had Hades true. not won three, four clutches on that map, had FaZe been able to win out even the first round half when Snappy kills Kerrigan with a Molotov, maybe that round goes the other way. There's been so many situations where it could have been uh, completely the other way around. I would say the last map, the most convincing, obviously the scoreline suggestive of that, but the CT side never got rolling for ends. Dust two. It's, it's, sometimes it's impossible to call. So I'm, I'm leaning that way statistically, Jason. Yeah, I think that's question. fair. Yep. That's all right. I won't press you for, yeah, for a commitment. That's not a cop-out, but it's it's, a, it's an honest answer. I, I, you know, I'd love to say wholeheartedly yes, but at the same time, I think Ents have a chance in this. Yeah, Ents have been looking good. Made in towards lower tunnels. Rain steps in front of it. Diha's ready to pounce. Looks like him and Madden kind of want to combine on this fight, but... Diaz backing off. Smoke comes down to put out the Molotov at Xbox. Rain's gonna slide right through it and jump up on top. 
And if you, you you want someone that's motivated, you'd expect that Rain, this is a bit of redemption for him. You know, very much so the fact that JKS ends up standing in for him on the stage, even though he was originally there to replace Rops. Yeah. There was all kinds of flack on Twitter. There was all kinds of community feedback saying, oh, geez, bring him in. You know, Reigns numbered. He's had an amazing tournament. Uh, he's my vote for MVP right now if he continues on in similar fashion. Ooh. He's got Madden, but, you know, that would just silence everyone if he's able to get a championship with them as well. That's a huge kill. Uh, they wanted to boost up to prevent this jump up catwalk. And actually, you can see D-Hug considering swapping out to the weapon, but doesn't want to give away the sound cue. He's going to do it now as he puts a new smoke down. Smoke in towards CT spawn as well. Rops. He didn't body block that. Yeah, waiting for the timing. Gonna spam through. It's a battle. He gets it. Tiha, a bit fortunate. It's all on Hades now. Snappy has control of long, so Hades has some safety, but not from Kerrigan dropping down. He knows there's mid presence. That's... He knows likely there's no one to protect that kind of a play. That's a CT smoke, if I'm not mistaken, as well. That's not like it was a T side designed to be blinded and blocked when he dropped in, because Dia couldn't turn and find him. That's why Hades gets found. That's why he gets taken out in that situation. So a bit of a curious one in that situation entirely. Is Twists now controls the fate of everyone up above. Kerrigan will clean out Snappy. And another round for FaZe. Another great round from FaZe. What a great read from Kerrigan. I love it. I love everything about that. You see Diha taking that fight in middle. Opera's exposed. Nothing that Pence could have done to stop that one. Hades in a tough position. All tied up at three. Ants are going to buy again, but the money, it's its all scrappy. Two MP9s, two M4s, an AWP with no armor on Hades. D-Hunt, Snappy, want to get aggressive. Oh, Hades is going to pick off Brokey. There's the boost up. Drops his gun in, in excitement and jubilation, and Rain's going to have to back off. He's just letting everyone know the op was down. Brokey removed immediately. Kerrigan now he will work with Rain. Rops has been the wing side on this part of the map most often, but he's got the bomb right now. He's working with Twist, and they are fading off that A position. So if they win these duels at lower, there's a chance for it. A chance for a trade, but Snappy Smart will back away before anything can happen. And he smokes himself into the stairwell. And he's going back for more at middle, and really gets another. Rotating as well, being dynamic, but Kerrigan knows that's an op shot, and if he's in window, and he fires that blindly, he's likely just trying to anticipate and get ahead of the play. Kerrigan's gonna take map control from them. He in the window right now could get a free kill onto Hades. Done. It's a done. Rops wins on Sphinx as well. That's a huge turn in the round. Yeah, I don't think Hades ever expected Kerrigan to push in that fashion. I, I think if he doesn't fire that shot, Hades, excuse me, uh, Kerrigan doesn't. I think Hades gives himself away. Good timing. Kerrigan having some impact here just in terms of the map control he's taking. However, Snappy. The bomb. He can still be massive. You gotta know there's one on the B bomb site. Twist is waiting patiently. Kerrigan's gonna come back to join. There's 30 seconds left on the clock. Snappy could do everything. He could shut it down, but Kerrigan sees the shoulder, the backpack, whatever it was. He's got the indication, and Madden's now at a one versus two. Kerrigan holding the door, but gives up the angle. That means the cross could be spotted. Madden wants to get closer. Knows the Kerrigan went back inside tunnels. They both were entering the site, but doesn't go for the lineup. Instead, goes for the post plant. Starts it off with twist, but Kerrigan slides out too quickly, and it's now phase on four. That play from Kerrigan just to get into the B bomb site is huge. You could see Hades rotating over. Smoke obviously obscuring his vision. When he misses that shot, Kerrigan has control of the situation and Hades has to back away. Just completely caught off guard by the fact that Kerrigan pushed it. He thought surely that Kerrigan was just going to hold on to the bomb site. Rops knows there's one more out of long as well. That's a tough round to read if you're Ents. And Kerrigan just takes complete control, even finishing it off. Beautiful round from the in game leader of FaZe. Brokey goes for it again. This time finds the opening kill onto Diha. Not down and there. Follow up. Yeah, double it up. Give him the stats. Uh, was That man didn't even stop. He's just running and... Run. <laughs> Is he running on the scout both those shots? That's crazy if he stopped that fast and got the shot off. <laughs> Poor Brokey gets a uh, rather unusual treatment from the scout through the door twice. He's still alive, but he absolutely nailed Rops in the car. Yeah, but again, the B bomb site is just wide open, and FaZe knows it. They know that there's going to be some missing players somewhere, so Rain tests the waters at the B site, finds the free kill. Sphinx with a nice rebuttal, but uh, it's all, you know, low impact kill. Could be nice to get the rifle and save the weapon. Faye's going to be happy to just wander into the A bomb so they know it's free, but Sphinx is going to go searching. They're buying in the next round, so he could be relatively aggressive with this if he wanted to and see if he could find a kill before the bomb gets planted. Just low percentage to actually win it out. Sphinx. Wanted to cross over middle. He was more worried about the door, unaware that Brokey was about to peek him from the car. And five to three. 
If you ask me that question again now, Jason, I'm even more convinced. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll make sure to ask you in phases on 15 and see how convinced you are then. Yeah, absolutely. It's a classic. Two-round lead for FaZe. And these past few rounds have been starting to look like the, the absolute worst nightmare playing FaZe on this map. Individual players taking a lot of initiative and with all the individual talent and skill on this roster, Rops, Twist, these guys can be a nightmare anywhere on the map if they have the space to work with. And especially if you got Kerrigan picking and choosing his battles like this. Four rounds in a row for FaZe. Rain from underneath. He will counter out the position of the smoke on Catwalk with a Molotov of his own. Rain's gonna fire into the doorway. And no one on the other side of it just yet. Snappy again all alone. Said we're gonna keep our eyes on this battle. Kerrigan, Twist, and Brokey even here to hold the corner. So Kerrigan and Twist have a lot of space. Nobody shifting from ends to come support Snappy. He's on his own. First kill is his. Second kill is his. What a great hold. A little bit of damage on a Brokey, but it's a two versus four. That's the only position they've won the long battle from, though, is Snappy playing far by the pit. He's done it twice already. So you'd expect that if it's not going to be solo twists, if they're going to execute, they're going to check that spot. Brokey going back around nearly gets one through the smoke before it plumed on top of the catwalk before it was distributed in its completion. Madden getting up close as well. They're gonna pass each other. Ships in the night. Noise made, but Rop's not able to react to that. Brokey could never make the call, and rather than go back for that kill, he wants to be so somewhat of a surprise. Bomb in hand. They're rotating off this. They think that kill in middle actually means he's rotated away. Brokey's got a chance here. He's got at least a plant, which is great. The question is, what does he get from here? Can he isolate his fights? Hades wisely waiting in case it was a fake plan. He's got Spinks to join up with him, but Brokey's looking to get one. Ooh, 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 ooh. Tougher call to make. Ooh, ooh. He's got the, that's it. Yeah, I'm not sure. That was a bit of a fumble. I was going to say the tougher call to make isn't so much the CT angle that he can control a headshot with, which he fumbled and gave away, but more the fact that they had Catwalk coming as well. So anticlimactic. I thought he would at least be good for one of the AWP. You know, that tends to happen when you drop your guns in a one versus three. Yep. That, yeah. Bringing the knife to the gunfight. Oh, dear. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what he was trying to yeah, do the was, first time. I guess like trying to do the, the fake pistol toss and do a flash play. And obviously all you can do is giggle a little bit, put a smile on your face and try again next time. And keep it close. They don't let FaZe extend the lead. And now they have a double op set up, picking up the, or prying the op from Brokey's dead fingers. Or maybe the op he wanted to give away to begin with. Yeah, he was already giving it. Yeah, he was, was like, here you go. I know what's happening. So snappy this time, not given the time or the space or the freedom to get out to the pit position. It's support from Madden when they jump through the smoke. A little bit contentious as they were both blinded up. They're going to go for an elevator boost. Two players are going to go up. Who is it, boys? Diaz like, I'll jump. No, Snappy wants up there instead. Diaz going to rotate back to middle. He's been very successful there. This defense can be very, very solid. Spinks with an ADVP in the back of the B platform at the moment. They're trusting him to just hold on to the site all on his own. Do they actually want to set up a smoke wall? Or do they just want to pop flash and peek and fight? Well... You've got your answer. Smoke's going down. Molotovs as well. They go before the smoke's plummeted. Both. Snappy is exactly that. Going to be able to see them. Diaz got the shot through it. Rain. Oh, that's a problem. He's on the ledge. He spotted out. The flash timing absolutely wrecks him. He hoped to try and see between smokes to see towards CT. Instead, he's a sitting duck in the open. And Madden leaves us down. Don't throw your guns away this time. To Brokey once more. One on five this time. Bomb in his hands. Doubt he's going to plant it. Doubt he'll get even the same odds as before. I think that's a little bit of a trick play from FaZe. You just kind of send Rops through that corner smoke at long to see if you can have a blind opponent that gives him a free kill. Sometimes maybe the defense would think that was like the, the extent of the play that's coming in their direction and they can back off and rotate elsewhere, but FaZe marching up and this time it just doesn't pan out. Entz was ready due to the fact that, and again, that Alper at the back of the B platform lets them feel comfortable having a fourth player on this side of the map. Good shooting from Entz. And they've whittled the money away from FaZe. This is the final buy phase will have if they can't win this. Oh, double tag. No kill. Yeah. He would have he would rather have the kill, but 12 HP on Sphinx, 61 on Diha. Both of B players. That does definitely mean they have to put more attention to middle to support that. So it's still a huge amount of damage. It is out toward long, though, that the battle goes. Twists good for one on Snappy, who once again was sliding past the smoke, was in the open. And detected. He'll fall. Rain will get the favorable trade back as well. So it's the man advantage for phase. Spinks is out in the middle. No one's in B directly right now. Rops is, again, the one that's lurking on that side of the map. 
Not a ton of information for him, but again, that damage done early, huge. Double op as well. And now Spinks has another time to get back into the B bomb site. If Kerrigan rops Brokey and Rain, I mean, if they hit this timing right here, because Kerrigan's going to lead before Rain actually joins up with him, I think I think Ens is just saving. I think Spinks needs to just back away almost right now. He's going to see what he can get because the smoke actually missed. That's an opportunity. That's a huge opportunity. They have nothing left. Oh, the op could do wonders. He knows they're close. He saw how that was thrown. He hits the up-close player. Kerrigan was baiting to let his teammates out, but Brokey gets the angle instead. There's the smoke that missed. Even the follow-up well off the mark. Yeah, even the follow-up one missed. There's one on top of the door. There's one to the right of the door from their perspective. That is a horrible uh, attention to detail, but Bomb goes down, and they still have the man advantage. Rops looked away when Dia first put his nose inside the window, but I think he'll smear the glass, and that's about as close as he'll get to inside of the site and fall away. That, that lower smoke, obviously, if, if, it, if it lands close enough to the door, it plumes, and while it's not a perfect coverage, it does help you cross, does obscure vision just enough to make it a little bit safer, but it just bounced too hard. So two missed smokes, but FaZe isn't going to get punished for it. Thankfully, from their perspective, good kill from Dia, trying to keep weapons out of their hands, trying to force as many rebuys as humanly possible. They know the money is low. Diha slides into the peak, and Brokey's already gone. Missed that opportunity, and especially as the bomb goes up, he needed to get away. Double up setup preserved for Ents as well. But FaZe maintained the one-round lead. There's the shot. That's, uh, that's ridiculous. I was almost worried, because they're... Sending, I think it's ROPS usually, that might run, it might have been twist, but they're sending a player down there, a rifler first to throw utility and then letting Brokey shot. I thought he was going to get blocked by that and Brokey wouldn't be able to get a shot in at yeah. all and then he hits two of them because the timing was tight. Speaking of ROPS, once again, he'll clear out the lower tunnels. Just to go back to Dust2 the other day when we casted uh, the CT Phase. side yep. specifically for FaZe, there was one detail we didn't notice because we were watching Rops' perspective when he pushed mid, that fake Molotov throw from Twist, so watch for that on the CT side. Kerrigan is holding middle attention so well. One kill, that's massive. Madden's rotating over, but Spinks is alone in the bomb, so they need to pick him off. The op, it finds Rain jumping up. New angle for him, but Twist has already progressed forward, and he's got a double. They never saw it. They never saw the progress into the bomb site. And again, they might just be locked out. Yeah, they covered the close angle. They had no idea Twist was the first player out, so a double for him. First time he's gone toward the B side of the map. And I think you're right. Save this right away. Hades, the AWP, that dragon lore. Precious. Hold on to it. And they'll try and get away, though. Rops is reasonably close, although I think Hades is now ready for that. Yep, absolutely. Snaps summons a few shots from the op in his direction, and he'll go over and join his teammate. But this is now going to be a two-round spread again in favor of FaZe at seven. Seven rounds already, T-side. Yeah, seven to five. Just a few pockets of light, a few glimmers of hope for the end side of things. Rounds two, three, and four. A nice three-round streak, and then rounds nine and ten before getting shut down. But even in some of the rounds they won, there were two diffuses in there. FaZe is able to find their way into these bomb sites. Twist having himself a good game. A few important... Decent amount of uh, kills, important kills out towards long A. Flanking the defender inside the bomb site. Couple times just multi-killing and opening up the site himself for his team. One of the things we talked about before the series even began oh so long ago was Spinks' performance so far in this event and Spinks' performance yesterday to get them into the grand finals. Seemed a little quiet today. He's three and seven at the moment. They'll need him to step up massively. It was interesting as well because, you know, we talked about fatigue. It was certainly something that I was starting to note when I was down watching them in the last game a little bit. And, and FaZe have been in this situation. Kerrigan even told me, he, like, the rest of the team was eating. He said, I'm not eating for another 45 minutes. He knows exactly how he wants to feel in these situations. He's been through them. They were also, during the extended break between maps uh, three and now this being map four, up in the restaurant, had the food ready to go and delivered. I didn't see Ents. Now, I assume they got some food, but they didn't sit down and relax in the same capacity. So fatigue is certainly a factor for these guys. Oh, Kerrigan. No fatigue here. Again, oh, that's brilliant. Just bullying his way out of mid. There's one more defender in the site, and they know it. Smoke goes down. Kerrigan's not going to respect that. He's going to time it with his teammates. Dia gets the kill, but he's so low. 11 HP. He cannot take a single bullet, a single point of damage, and he's got three different players to find from all different positions. And once again, Ents, a tough decision to make. At some point, you've got to make these decisions, though. That's the problem. Well, Snappy's going to investigate. They want to see if he can get a kill. Ooh, that's a nice wall tap from Brokey on the second shot. It's done now. Snappy's got to back away. No HP. That means Hades has to back off with the AWP as well. 
They've got to exit the site somehow, but Snappy at nine can't hold the backside of the tunnels, and there's no need for the AWP to even risk it at this point for Hades, so exit kill's not even a possibility. And phase. Still relatively honest economically, but we're going to be going around 14. They're going to have guns for the rest of the half at this point in time, so it's not worth trying to knock them down either. Terrigan's an absolute nightmare at the moment, and it feels like he's calling really, yeah. really, really well around his own play. He's saying, I'm going to be a force in middle. I'm going to come up middle. I'm having that space. I'm able to find that kill. I'm feeling it at the moment, so just play off me. Go to the B-bomb site because I'm going to pull attention in that direction. It's been two rounds in a row now, and this is where Kerrigan gets extra dangerous. And again, look at the timing as well. Peaking before that smoke plumes. Madden saying, okay, mid to B smoke coming down. I'm going to throw a Molotov to delay. But Kerrigan's peaking before it plumes, which Madden obviously does not expect whatsoever. Oh. So mixing in different timings with his peak. Awkward. <sighs> Very, and he stands in it. It didn't quite spread all the way to his feet until the end. But look at this. Sphinx says, oh, you want to mess up a Molotov and not hit the shot? We're going to go straight through that mid door. No one's going to be watching it. And not only is he going to go through mid door, he's going to go straight through suicide and try and cut them off. Snappy holding the box. Sphinx gets the first. They know they want to re-clear middle. From underneath, they spotted the gun barrel. Kerrigan gets away with one, but they still have two more to try and fight this back. I don't think they'll be ready for this phase. It's just whether or not the trades are favorable. They get the double. Kerrigan gets one. He's trying to slide up the ramp and catch out the head before it retreats. They'll recover the bomb, but it's the man advantage for Entz. <laughs> Brokey tries to improv a nade. Some of these nades right now are getting really, really suspect. That, arguably, that Molotov <laughs> created this entire round. Yeah, it certainly helped, didn't it? Entz was calling that push no matter what. The Molotov definitely did help prevent Brokey from being able to spot it out, but Kerrigan playing with such confidence. Just lurking out of Catwalk, crossing the corner right now. Madden is going to tuck himself into a safe corner at long. Deha playing on the ramp. There's at least going to be a plant here. I guarantee you, because Kerrigan watches back every game, he'll watch this one back and go, all right, boys, we're uh, practicing nades this week before the RMR. Mandatory. Do not skip. Diaz is going to get both on the site. They couldn't get out of there. They couldn't find any openings. He will get another round, therefore, for his team. Around 14 going their way. And they're sixth in total. So what's that? Two missed smokes at B in one round. We got a Molotov from Brokey that time. A miss as well at Catwalk. It's not looking amazing, is it? I think well, Brokey, I think Brokey was the one that threw the first smoke over at B as well. He, uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure who threw the, the, the miss smokes at the B bomb site, but I know both the nades this round that were a little weird. The Molotov and that smoke at Xbox that he wanted to go on top of it obviously just clips the corner of the halls. That was both Brokey, so shout out to Brokey. Nine and six. Kerrigan twists and the aforementioned Alper in upper dark. Change of pace, Sphinx and Deha. Here to challenge, he's gonna push forward. This could be the best or the worst timing. He grabs Kerrigan. There's Deha with the peak on towards Twist. Molotov is gonna be dropped to keep the spacing. This is great for Mensa's defense. They're gonna get the, likely to get the final two rounds of this half as long as they can close out this five on two. That's super solid from Deha to be that close as well because Sphinx gets locked over on the left side. Bit of a small cage for a big animal to be inside of. Rops. And Brokey. And even if it's unfavorable, just like Shooter McGavin, they've got to play this one from where it lies, Jason. Five on two that they have to go for in round 15. Well, they've got the players for it. Rops and Brokey. They're looking for a mistake at the moment, but Entz is frozen on the map. Nobody is moving. They've got everything covered at the moment. Deha outside B with support flash in case Sphinx encounters any trouble. Snappy up on top of the boxes with a tough angle to deal with. Hades with the op on the catwalk. They've got plenty of people in positions for early warning systems if the fights don't go their way. And plenty of safety if they're to miss a shot and fall back. Brokey starts it. Drop shot from Hades. He tags him but doesn't take him down. Utility thrown this direction would be absolutely menacing. Rops is going to try and therefore use a little bit of fire to prevent them from being in a position to throw them. But here comes the flank. Madden's already there. Rops is blind as well, and Madden doesn't want to stop that smoke in position. He's going to try and push right through it. Rops ready for that, or what? For example, there's someone else ready to pounce when they react to it. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at Snappy. 
Oh, excuse me, Brokey. Brokey's the one who pushed up. I got my teams wrong. He, they, they switched sides. I completely forgot. Rops is under a lot of pressure. Oh, boy. Stuck close to the box as well. Yeah, there's not a whole lot good that can come from that. Twist is able to get one. A one-for-one one trade for that defense. But he knows now, if he tries to force his way in, he's in a lot of trouble. That's a big, big risk. And he's challenging as much as possible to try and get one more before the bomb goes down. And finally, he's punished. He is punished. He knew that they were planting, but he was concerned. He, I think even crossed his mind that he could run in and try and deny the plant, but would be traded out. Doesn't elect to do it, and now they're left in a four-on-two outside of the B site. So hard to get back in a fortified castle. Brokey's going to try his utmost. He's got the first. Now Kerrigan arrives in position with armor, but no utility, no kits. They'll back away and save the armor for the next round. Anyone going to pursue through tunnels? No, no one close enough. So FaZe concede. We go 8-8. Eight to eight. Good response from Entz to get the second half rolling in their favor and maybe keep this series going to a fifth. Remember, Ancient is the fifth map if it is needed, which would be, in my recollection, the first time a grand final has ever been decided on that map. Yeah, but that off the top of my head, for sure. Yeah, uh, you know, I feel... I, I like this from Twist. This is kind of all you can really do, because I, I, even Twist obviously understands that in an even situation in a pistol round like this, like, it's still going to be such a difficult retake without utility. I don't know if... I don't think... They, I don't believe they had a kit as well, so he's trying to get, like, that one kill that's going to allow them to kind of calm down, stabilize, and then line up for the retake, and unfortunately, just goes against him. But you can understand the thought process behind it at the very least. Kerrigan's feeling frisky. Scout. Yeah, Kerrigan, very frisky up toward top middle. He gets tagged down to 29. Snappy was already hit to 34. Brocky obviously being the other scout weapon, but here we go, Rops. Yeah, Rops has control of upper dark, which is great. That's why you're allowed to stack four players over here. Keep in mind against Navi, Kerrigan had some fine scout work to steal around away like this. Not wrong. There is access back through middle. They don't know that yet, and Rops wants to keep going. That's why they're now pulling and shuffling twists back to the mid door so we can at least see if anyone wants to head that direction. Head shown. Little groundhog trying to pop up and see how spring is springing, but it's springing in favor of the bolt action on Kerrigan. Only good for one this time. Hades, Madden, Spinks all with kills. Rain only gets one in the intern, and now it's all on Rops on that flank, and unfortunately, the flank's less of a surprise at this point in time because they'll be considering all options on a rotation. Yeah, they, they have Catwalk as well. Spinks knows exactly where to look. Good shot from him. Double kill in the round for Spinks. Starting to warm up into this. Eight and nine on him. It's 16 kills on Madden to lead the way for Entz. 13 kills on Diha in second place for the squad. Over on the phase side of things, it's Twist with 13 kills and Kerrigan with 12 as your top two performers for Phase Clan. However, the double scout round and the Deagles don't pan out. Upgrade a few pistols, a couple HEs picked up as well. That's on Twist and Kerrigan. That's going to be out towards Long. Madden is going to go challenge it. Here come the nades. Maybe not. A little late. Way late. Madden swinging back. Knows that they've crossed. I think he spotted both. Yeah, he does cross air placement. Immediately suggests that. Kerrigan down. Maybe not. Molotovs are going close corner. I don't think they know Twist is in the pit at all. No, they didn't spot him. They're not even checking it either. He's going to wait this out. Try and remain discreet and make the right decision. He'll hear them backing off, so he'll get that information, but he knows Madden's still up there. Doesn't even want to go for him yet. Wait it out. AK in hand. Easily taken from him. Oh, no. That's That's got to be a little frightening for Ents now. Oh, an early nade. What a little drop. That's perfect. And doubles him up with the Krieg. Twist is going to get it through the smoke, and you might as well go for this as well if you're Twist. And my mistake, I called that an AK, quite clearly a Galil, but yeah, you've got Sphinx with an AK on low HP at right now at 43, and Twist 72, Diaz only got a Mac 10. Sphinx is going to back off mid doors. Twist gets the bypass position to go immediately toward it, but he's not sure. He's not convinced that he's got that much space and doesn't want to get pincered in mid. Taking his sweet time about this. He has a chance at it, but no kit. So if he wanted it, he needs to be quicker. No, I think at this point, the, the actually going for the defuse is out of the question. Now it's line up and see if you can take these guns away on the exit. You can see Diho with the MAC-10 is walking out mid right now to pick up the Krieg right at the end of the round. Picks up an extra smoke. Twist, hoping someone's going to come towards upper dark, but Sphinx and D have already cleared towards CT spawn. So that will be the evacuation route. And Twist is just going to survive with the Galil as the bomb goes off. 10-8, to two-round lead for Entz early on in the second half, but the gun rounds begin right here, right now. Great for Dia. We'll stay and play uh, naturally. The AWP comes out for Hades as well as Brokey. Quick peek 
to long. Fast play. Sphinx jumping through with his back exposed to avoid the flashes. They're going to meet inside the smoke. They're shaking hands, but it's not friendly. Not friendly at all. Kerrigan, though, he was there to watch the exchange and make sure nothing unpeculiar went down. He's got both kills, and Twist comes out to double up as well. Suddenly, Hades, we got a minute and 30 on the clock, is wondering, guys, we're, why am I alone? This is a phenomenal round for FaZe to establish early on in the half that they can hold on to long once the guns come out. That is always such a nightmare situation for the CT side. If you cannot contain the long aggression, the long plays from the T side, you're in for a world of hurt on Dust2. So FaZe, got to be very happy. This first defense was so clean. Four for one. They'll take that every single round. Hades is left alone with a minute left on the clock. I mean, in theory, you could just sit here and save for this whole minute. Interesting thing as well is the kill distribution of phase has been so closely grouped all series long, but this game, Rain and Rops, six and three respectively, struggling, but you know that those two guys are capable of getting into this at any moment, especially Rops. Well, I think yesterday Rops had like, I think I saw, I thought it was halftime. Half. Yeah, I thought it was halftime. It was actually like round 18 or 19 or something like that. He had four kills and he ended like, you know, maybe like 10 rounds later, he was on 20. So, I mean... Yeah, of course, these veterans and these highly skilled players, as you mentioned, Rain and Rops can bounce back at any moment. And even Rops alluding to it, you know, in, in an interview he gave with HLTV last night in the hotel, uh, saying, you know, yeah, that always kind of sucks, but, you know, we're, we're professionals. And you, and you keep your head in the game and you keep grinding it out and you keep playing the odds and you keep playing it round by round. And eventually it's going to turn around for you. It did yesterday. However... Still sitting one round back. He's got teammates giving him some space to get back into it as well. Kerrigan obviously having a phenomenal game. 14 kills for him. Twists on 17 tied with the leader on the opposite side. Madden being the one at the top of the board right now for Ents. Good finals for him. You know, all the hype about Spinks coming into this. No question. Madden's delivered in this series so far. Madden's been great for Ents. Phenomenal in terms of his opening kills. I think he's been one of the best in the event. Just looking for another one here. Around a gap in the smoke, but FaZe doesn't fall for it. Gets uh, one point of damage from the smoke. Touching him inappropriately between the doors. Twists will try and fall off the angle at middle with the smoke already deployed. Just doesn't want to get caught out with it, so it's 2-1-2. Two, Twist closer to B in mid, though, can rotate and support that side. And you're right. Last round, they established they could control it. This time, they say, all right, Brokey, you just control along with the op this time. We only need to send one player there. They're not going to challenge that again. Yeah, giving multiple looks and giving Brokey the freedom to shift between bomb sites. They obviously feel like this is going to fall into either mid to B split or just a straight up B hit with three players on that side of the map. Twist. That's, that's the interesting thing on this. Because if it doesn't, Brokey doesn't have anyone else to cover long, which means if they take Catwalk, Kerrigan's on his own to fight that. Yeah, but Kerrigan has a smoke that he's holding on to. He, he's saying, essentially, if you guys are going to attack Catwalk, there's going to be utility. I'm, I'm going to see, like, the, the two smokes pop up on the railing. I'm going to see the one-way smoke pop up on the boxes. I'll be able to counter it with my smoke and play right behind it as he's just done. There's that first lurk smoke. However, there's going to be time after that fades. Double smoke in middle as well. Twist has got one blind. Up to catwalk we go, and more pressure on Kerrigan. Flash over top. Kerrigan's going to be wrecked by that. Just barely get... Oh, he actually would have made it. Clip the wall. Rookie still comes around to help him. Dia gone because he won that fight earlier. Means he now has a shooting gallery toward the site. Very confidently, he'll keep his aim directed in that certain position. Snappy to put the bomb down. Hades snaps out immediately after that flash and follows it up. Rain with a good shot, though. And it's all on to Hades. He'll take down the AWP player on the phase side, but they still have Rain and Rops. And they're on a romp together. They'll roll over the sights. Double R's and double digits. 10-10. Yeah, Hades obviously needed to find some safety somewhere just had nowhere to go didn't want to be boxed into goose but knows a player is coming probably catwalk can't get into the site as rain's challenging and jumping and you don't want to give him the space to wrap up the ramp as well while you're being split just so few options for hades in that one versus two not too shabby whatsoever to take out two of the players brokey as well dropped when he stops short but that's another win for phase and they've tied things up plant is going to help and in terms of their money but not a whole lot Nothing to be super happy about. One AK-47 on Madden. 
buying an AK just to try and limit the economy. They have to have a good read of FaZe's money because Twist is at 250, Reigns at 300, Kerrigan's at 100. All the kills matter even in a loss. So the Hero AK looking to have impact economically, if not in victory this round. Smoke still set toward the Xbox. Madden walks out from the underpass, knows that that means he can be spotted from mid, but crosses over confidently. Bravely in some ways. Or Hades with the Glock. Needs to full save to get that AWP back out. They've got two smokes and two flashes. So they can line up a cat execute. Have Madden with that AK-47 baiting a few players. He's passed one of the smokes so that he can just kind of sit back. Kerrigan might have heard that tag a little bit, but no one has shifted a whole lot. And here we go. Close and far for the smokes. They want to get further inside of the site. They want to narrow down these angles. They're very low, though. That secondary smoke. Madden trying to peek over it. Roki on the ramp, not the close box. So the headshot angle, not quite the clean lineup that you might have expected with the X-ray. Oh, look at those flashes. They're wrecked. Rain walks out to get two. That's going to single Roki out. But he's able to hold his ground, at least for now. Kerrigan does the same, and then it's onto the USP even to take down Hades. So default pistols to the final exchange of the round, and 11 for phase. They take back the lead late. Ensted even did a phenomenal job of dodging as many of the flashbangs as they could, but when there's like five or six coming at you, like, that, that's just so brutal. How are you supposed to dodge everything? You can see them turning from so many, and even if just the last one catches you, you're ruined. And Madden couldn't get a clean fight till too many of his teammates had fallen away. So d will be stuck on the Tech-9. Madden's passed an AK-47. Up in the hands of Hades. All four players commence towards upper B. Three rounds in a row now for FaZe's defense. And that round, especially with four players surviving, is going to feel good. Get to build up some money. Start to feel a bit more comfortable. Spinks will hold the off angle in the tunnels. Covers over by the box. Snappy is alongside him. For those of you who like strange coincidence out there, I was thinking the other day how many teams have double letters within them. You got Snappy and Spinks, you got Rain and Rops. It's hard to think of a team these days that don't have two letters duplicated within the roster. Some of you won't care about that, but some find <laughs> I was going to say, what an obscure thing to bust out. Some people like those facts, Jason. <laughs> I love it. Oh, man. Only you. Here we go. Oh, there might be one other person. Twist blinded as that flashbang bounces in. He's got Rops over at the window. Rain is on a quick rotation as well. This hit is going to be so tough. Nades, utility starting to stream in towards the halls. It's Rops for contact with the AWP, and that's easy. Blind it up for now, but he still has that big old box to cover him off. Madden's not going to go around that. They're even trying to retreat back, but he gets on top of the double stack, only being able to spot it from window. He gets over top of that because he cut out rain, and Robs was never expecting him to go even higher on the elevation. The man on stilts just absolutely opens up the site, and they steal this one. That's a can opener. Yeah, I think Twist got lowered in because the, hit, the timing on that hit, the pacing on it was just so odd. Like, normally you're having players stream out, but look at how slow they play this. 20 seconds of the clock, Madden. Jumps up on the box, finds Twist peeking in. Didn't expect that whatsoever. Yep. Tiptoe away from that one, Brocky. Keep that AWP. 11 to 11. Not done yet, Enz. Not at all. No, this has been a trend of theirs. Uh, mentioned it, uh, just the, the amount of times they're able to find the answer, adapt just enough, or change a pace, or change the tempo. <laughs> For a team that's just recently started to like kind of draw attention and draw eyeballs to it in these past few months, like this is a, they've got a pretty deep playbook or at least a lot of faith in Snappy as a caller to just go for it. Yeah, I remember July of last summer, which I know we're, we're almost a full calendar year from that 10 months ago, but they were, you know, still dwindling in tier two and definitely probably the, the best of the rest in that regard. Could play the upset to the tier one teams. I know we always use tier one and tier two and what does that mean, but 
you get my point. The top 10 guys were a little bit out of reach. Major, they looked pretty sharp, and they've gotten better and better ever since. Yeah. Dion's fortunate to be alive. Doesn't do nearly as much damage as he would have liked. Down to 12 HP. He's only tagged Kerrigan to 74. That's not a fun exchange for him. Robson lower dark, and they've got Brokey here as well. Double up set up in middle. Rain is actually even going to push up to the corner of Catwalk. Brokey could activate him with a flashbang, or so could Twist from the B bomb site. Robs can swing it around as well and peek out on a trade. This is a three man setup, essentially. Depending on how much they commit, depending on how far forward they are, how wide they need to swing. Well, not at all. They're going to walk right into it. First one down. Rain's gun barrel. I think it was too far forward. I think Hades would have just seen it, and Rops tries to get a shot off, but now they know he's in the lower position. Now they can push him from both sides, and he needs to be perfectly ready for the position at the stairs. He gets the angle first. Snappy bomb. backing off, and you're right. That is the bomb. 50 seconds, and they still have access to it. Spinks will grab it now, but that just forces them out of position. And, and Brokey's actually left the B bomb site, though. I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised. They actually have an avenue into the B bomb site if they want to take it. Dehun Spinks. Two versus three. FaZe is playing this oh so passively. Lurk smoke towards B tunnels. Kerrigan wants to shift up. There's no flashbangs. He's got to get in. If he's going to make his move, it's got to be now. Brokey as well is going to peek in. They've got to be so careful. There's that position on top of the boxes. Spam coming through from both sides. Nothing wow. really connecting. And Rops is going to have a fast flank. He's going to have a fast flank, and he's got the job done. 12 HP for Dia. He got away from the spam of the first one. I'm not sure how Brokey didn't hit him. But Rops could have been caught out by a quick peek. Instead, he gets away with one and a phase round. Well managed from phase as well. Both the oppers, Rops and Brokey, dropping the AWP, switching over to a rifle just to handle the close range affair. Mid-centric setup, and it works wonders. Phase maintaining that lead. Maintaining that lead, but not breaking down the money entirely yet. There is a scout for Snappy, a Deagle for Spinks. They still have two AKs and an AWP in play. It's Hades that has that, unsurprisingly. Glass cannon, though. 21 kills for Hades, and that glass cannon's trying to move quickly. He's already down toward the catwalk position. And he, oh, nice flash. No flash there, and I think they're a man down. Snappy's tagged up and on 24, but I, I think they get the advantage on phase there. Ooh, this is a big boy buy. So much rides on this. Economy depleted for Ents. Walking behind the lurk smoke, they found a round where there's no defender actually in the bomb site. There's the mid to B smoke. Rops is going to find one. That's Spinks investigating, but that might send the message. The defense is playing outside. Madden's already made it over towards Closet where the car is. Drops. Oh, just swings a little bit wide. I'm surprised he overcommits to that. Even if Closet's open, I'm surprised he doesn't just try and contain the site because they can always recover the situation with the rifler, Rain, who's now on the ramp, but they have conceded the bomb plant. And despite the man advantage, it is B. They have to retake. There is two AKs in play. There's no nades for Ents to hold anything off. They can't block a single choke point. Meanwhile, FaZe have everything. Four kits, one smoke, one flash. Everything indeed. Twist trying to bait himself, jumping in with the knife, trying to get forward of that scout. They've done that! Twist with a great shot. Rain, in fact, got the kill. Excuse me, so he doubles up. And they'll sacrifice one in the retake. Doesn't even matter. They've got their 13th round, and this time the money is in the... That's the lost round bonus. So they might force on this, but it's in the bin. It's not fully there. And yeah, the plant helps. The plant puts them right on the edge. They can... Guns have come out. It's been all phase. Brokey at 16. Twist and Kerrigan at 18. And Rops is going to push mid. What a bold call in this kind of a round. Twist and Brokey are going to join up with him as well. Not even go toward the under position. Brokey's still holding that because there's a smoke down that he can get away from. He's nailed Snappy. They're not, surely not expecting rifles to be there if an AWP is. I think this gives Rops the freedom to do whatever the heck he pleases. And they know they're over toward B. They've already fortified the site. And I was going to question if they did this. Because if they go for a half buy, they've had twice now that they've almost had an empty B site. You'd think they're trying or at least exploiting some weakness there. Rops is running because Brokey has another smoke. He knows they're going to be stuck. Oh, he's going to mow him down at long range. Oh, you love this. You love everything about this. Taps coming in. Two kills for Rops. They're so ruined. There's no access to this bomb site. There's no access to retreat even towards spawn. It's Kerrigan's trying to push up. Oh, a couple of freebies. Perfectly played from FaZe. They take the initiative. They I, take I, no damage. And they've got a 14th round. I, I commend Rops. I think he knows that they're going to be on limited weapons. And he knows that they've been getting access to B recently. So he says, screw it. I'm not going to give them the space. I want to take the map from them. Well done. And FaZe now put themselves on 14. It was a force buy last time. They contained just enough money. They left enough over. They'll be able to buy again here. But it's a MAC-10 for Madden. I would wonder if that's a, a call from Kerrigan. Maybe we can find that out tonight when we, if we have a chance to chat with him. Because if you've, if you've been watching Ants, as you, we know he has been these past nights, those those kinds of rounds, he's been doing primarily fast-paced bus onto bomb sites, just full-blown executes. And I think Kerrigan read it. So did Rops, as you mentioned. 
He's going to start this one off with a good read as well. Down in the underpass. He's traded out. Brock, he pulls that back. So they win middle again. And they'll race to the A site. But they are still in a three-on-three three with Twist well removed from the action at B. May not matter. Rain's already sliding out. Traded by Hades. It's only one smoke for the cross as well. Hades and Snappy. Oh, Snappy just picks up another one just now. His teammate had dropped it. He went back for it. So he's going to complete the wall. It'll have to be a retake scenario. Twist is in upper dark at the moment, so he'll be a little bit late to the party. He's got one flashbang. They both have kits. Bomb's going to go down. By round 26, heads into a post plant. Heads into a post plant. Brokey made a call to back down to CT because he didn't want to swing and rot rotate on the ramp. He had no one to boost him elevator, so he's trying to be conservative in the play. It puts him well out of it. And he has to wait for Twist. He's gone all the way to the tunnels to pick up more utility as well. Yeah, they both scavenged some utility. Smoke and Nade now on the fla behind the flash as well from Twist. So Twist first. Oh, okay. Change that up. AWP to find the opener and Twist to swing perhaps. Flash goes over. Hades. Gets to the corner of Goose to avoid that, but they'll Molotov his position, and Brokey will hold it. He'll nail Hades as well. They may not know that Snappy's this close. They're going to try and hold the defuse. He knows they're on it, and the back is out of that smoke. Snappy's got both. Nice attempt. That's the only, only chance they had was Twist sticking that defuse as fast as possible. Brokey even had the right idea swinging out for the fight, but just a good clutch. A good one versus two, one. Bomb goes off. They can save... Unfortunately for Entz, they can save nothing in the round. But well done from Snappy, finding the new angle as well. I think Twist would have definitely had that. Bomb explodes, and Entz have to buy back into the next round, try and string true together, but they've got four Galils. Money is just so busted at the moment. Same for FaZe, though. Hades, out long. Enz trying to put him into play very, very quickly. It's just the one player. But again, FaZe has had control of Lower Dark so much. They've had this so frequently. Rops is going to get at least one more freebie. He's done great damage on Adiha. He's dinked him. And they have to turn around and deal with this. And there's the nade to clean up the kill on Adiha. Masterclass from FaZe so far. Rops is still here. And oh, he somehow fluffs that fight. And now Brokey's got his knife out. This is a tough timing for Snappy. He's got it, though. Brokey looking in the wrong direction. Kerrigan's going to drop down and remove him immediately. Madden. Bombs on a catwalk. Uh, exactly that. He's going to sprint as fast as he can back around the map. Minute and 20 when, he, when he was left on his own, but he's got so far to go. I don't think they know it's there. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think FaZe actually has that information. Rob spotted it, but he probably doesn't realize that it's still sitting by the stairs. Rain, is he going to spot him? Not yet. Timing is everything. Can be. He's exploding. Exposed. Yeah, that's <gasps> okay. X ray misleading. I didn't turn around. <laughs> he nailed Madden, and Kerrigan was already starting to clear out Cat considering the position. 15 at championship point for FaZe. This would give them two to award a Grand Slam and a Pro League title. Redemption for Rain. It's all on the line right now. Ents to try and survive. Three chances to close this out, and look at the buy they're going up against. Scout on Hades, Deagle on Spinks, Tech Knight on Sla Snappy, Galil on AK 47, and the final two players. It is a weak investment from Ents but it's all they have to work with. Rops again in lower dark. They have not been able to shut this down. Sphinx. Easy. Yeah. They haven't checked that angle yet. He's been so good. We mentioned the pushing. We mentioned how aggressive they are. Brokey's gotten Hades down. Rain onto Dia. It's all on Madden and Snappy. And Ents have had a heck of a tournament. They beat them in the group stage. They took down FaZe to start this all off. The two teams from the same group arriving in the final. And Ents are definitely on the rise, no question about it. But FaZe right now are the world beaters, the contenders that everyone must face. Good find from Snappy jumping through. He'll take Kerrigan down behind the door, but he'll confirm that he heard two players in that position, and everyone rotates. Yeah, they're, they're so locked in. They, they have to know it as well. Brokey is going to grab the angle with an AWP. He's not going to shy away. He'll step around that smoke. Blinded a little bit, but surely he's going to come back for it. All of FaZe ready to fight. There's the flashbang. Brokey's got one more.